Hello, Psychic Pictures here, and I'm here to talk about one of the issues in the Sonic Archie comics that people have been talking about since it happened, the robotization of Sally Acorn. Now, with this, people don't really like that Sally has been roboticized again, and honestly, I haven't. I don't like that this happened either. But, um, I saw recently that, um, B.W. Rosas put up a video that asking if Ian Flynn should continue writing the Archie comics because this happened. With me, my opinion is no. Because, just because this happened does not mean that he's a bad writer. If anything, he sh Ian Flynn should stay as writer of the Sonic Archie comics because this happened. Because with this, he could have an entire story with the robotic Sally uh, planned out. But yes, s uh, people are angry about Sally being roboticized, but it makes for an interesting story. And people have been talking more about Mecha Sally and paying more attention to her, more attention to the Archie comics, than they have before this happened. Now, that's the whole writer's job. It's to go and make sure that the comics go and are interesting. Because this, because this happened, people have gotten interested in what will happen to Sally, and uh, what will happen next. But people don't like it, and it's um, with what I've seen recently, Mecha Sally's gotten very, very popular just because she's been roboticized. Now. It's true that she has gotten roboticized before, but it was only for one issue. And if you actually look at uh, Mecha Sally, she's uh, she got an upgrade from um, Robotnik and uh, could possibly have a new outfit while when she's uh, de-roboticized, if she is ever de-roboticized. Now, with this, and this is my own personal opinion, but with Sally being de-roboticized, since Ian Flynn has said that Hershey the Cat's story is not over yet, and Hershey hasn't appeared in the comics since he made that announcement, if you don't include the Jeffrey St. John trial, it could be that Sally gets de-roboticized because of Hershey the cat. And uh, that would signal Hershey's uh, return in the comics. Now, as I said, I don't like that uh, Sally got roboticized, but it does make for a very interesting story, and I myself have been very interested in what's going to happen in the Archie comics. And if you look at the cover for issue 238, uh, it seems that Sally's much more of a threat than Robotnik is, which it does make a lot of sense that she is more of a threat, since if you look at... Uh, Sonic issue number 27, where Sonic lost his memory and started to work with Robotnik, Sonic was a big threat to the Freedom Fighters because he had all the knowledge of where the Freedom Fighters are and things like that. With Mecha Sally, her threat, she knows where the city of Numo Metropolis is, even though Eggman knew already, even though Robotnik already knew about it, but she knows how to get in and out of the city, and she she knows that 
she can get into the city with all the passwords and things like that, if there are passwords. So, uh, Sally's a pretty big threat with for the Freedom Fighters. And since uh, Robotnik went and weaponized her, she's gotten even bigger of a threat to the Freedom Fighters. Now, with Mecha Sally, true, I dislike it, as I said before in this video, but it makes for an interesting story, and I would really like, honestly, to see where Ian Flynn is going with this. So, why? So, if Ian Flynn is doing this, and if he will go and de-roboticize Sally at some point, why would we replace him? It's just as plain as that. Now, with this, true, it's been going on for a while since uh, issue 230, and it's almost been going on for about 10 issues now, if you don't include the Eggman Empire uh, story arc for Sonic Universe, but it does make for a very, very interesting story, and people have been talk talking about it, more focused on it, and people have prop most likely since that incident have been uh, more interested in the comics to see what'll happen to Sally. This is Psychic Pictures, signing off.